Hey everybody, thanks for taking a second to join us for this week's pastoral update. Wanted to talk a little bit about our sermon this last week. One of the things I wanted to try to do with our updates is to take a few minutes each week to review and recap a little bit about what we looked at uh, in our Sunday morning worship service. So as you know, or maybe you don't, now you're about to, uh, we've been going through the life of David there in 2 Samuel. And this was a passage that obviously has some pretty challenging verses in it. There in the opening verses where it talks about uh, how God incited David to take a census. And then we see how uh, the parallel passage in, in Chronicles talks about how it was Satan uh, that incited David to do this. And so we talk through some of that, how God is, is still good and holy, how He is sovereign even over uh, the bad decisions that we make, and He's sovereign even over the enemy. And so although that can be uh, a little disconcerting or maybe uh, discomforting to us, it also provides a, a sense of comfort in, this, in the understanding that, that God is sovereign, that He is in control, and that He's able to use all things, uh, evil even, uh, our bad choices to work together for His glory and for our good. And then we also talked about this idea of a costly sacrifice, how David, there at the end of the passage there in 2 Samuel 24, says that I, I need to make a sacrifice. God has told him to make a sacrifice to end uh, this plague that is uh, just ravaging through the nation. And he uh, is offered basically the opportunity to, to do this sacrifice for free. Uh, but he makes a very important statement that he's not going to sacrifice without it costing him something. And then we tied that to the New Testament understanding of Jesus, how he is a sacrifice, that he uh, is a costly sacrifice that allows us to be reconciled back to God. But then as well, I think it speaks to a, a, a theme as well in our faith, in the Christian faith, this idea that we are called to sacrifice as well in following Jesus. You see that all throughout the Gospels. Uh, the importance of being willing to take up a cross to follow Jesus. We looked at the rich young ruler there in Mark 10 in which Jesus is calling him to leave everything and to follow after him. And that call comes to all of us. It's not just for the spiritually elite. It's not just for the disciples or for uh, professional people in vocational ministry. It's for every Christian that we are called to, to follow Jesus, to make a sacrifice in doing so. But then what we also saw there in Mark chapter 10 is that there's really no true sacrifice in the sense of even the most self-denying person is actually gaining something far greater than anything we can give up in this world. And it's the idea that in following Jesus, whatever we may give up pales in comparison to the reward and the joy that has been to be found in a relationship with Him. And so I think it makes us beg the question, what is God calling us to sacrifice? What is He calling us to take a risk in and to trust Him and to walk in obedience. And so maybe this week, continue to ponder that. Go back and, and look at 2 Samuel chapter 24, or maybe spend some time reading through Mark chapter 10 and see what God may be calling you to do in response and in obedience to that. The other thing I wanted to talk about is a little bit into the future. We're going to be, over the next few weeks, have some different opportunities in our worship services. We're going to be looking at uh, a missions week on October 1st and 8th. We're going to have a guest speaker, Gene Staples. You'll hear more about him in the weeks ahead. But then beginning on October 22nd, I want to continue to get our folks and all of us uh, ready for this. We're going to be looking at the vision, the mission, and the values of Wedgwood. And I'm very excited about this because I, I think God is uh, giving us some clarity and focus on what is God calling Wedgwood to do here over the next few years. Now, we've learned over the last three years that we have to be flexible in our long-range plans. Uh, but I don't think that means that we shouldn't make plans or we shouldn't make goals. And so I think God has, is directing us in some very tangible, pretty simple ways uh, for the, the vision of our church, uh, the mission, the values of our church as a whole. And so I want to encourage you to be able to be a part of that. That'll be a four-week series that will begin there on October 22nd. So that's it for this week. Look forward to seeing you Wednesday night. All of our normal activities Sunday will wrap up the life of David. We're going to look at his transition from the reign of David to Solomon there in 1 Kings. And so we we'll hope you can be a part of that. Hope you have a great week. Look forward to seeing you soon.